Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hey! So today's video is in collaboration with four of my really, really, really good friends. We are all mothers, we are all YouTubers, and we're all on Instagram. So make sure you go check them out. Um, I'm doing with Alexis, Autumn, Carly, and Shelby. And I will make sure to link all of their channels below and please, please, please go check them out. You will love them all. They're the sweetest mamas ever and they are literally my best friends. So we teamed up and we each asked people on our Instagram to give us some questions. So you might be seeing a question that you asked and we each chose five from our own questions and we're all answering 20 of them all together. So if you are interested in seeing what they said to these questions to kind of get a different perspective on what they think or what their life is like, please make sure to check them out and make sure to tell them that I sent you. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have all of the questions on my phone. So I'm going to try to not make this super, super long. I'm just kind of try to get to the point with all of the questions. So the first one is pros and cons of each of the military bases that you have lived on. So we've only lived, we've only been stationed at two military bases and we never lived on base, but um, I feel like, I don't know. I love Fort Campbell where we're at now so much so so much the other one was fort bragg and i feel like i didn't like it as much because it took like a half hour to get anywhere if it was a mile away it took 30 minutes like seriously but it was super close to the beach and i feel like i like tennessee it's like kentucky and tennessee because there's like it like feels like home kind of i don't know it's like 45 minutes away from Nashville and where I'm from we're only like 45 minutes away from Pittsburgh. So I don't know, but I love Fort Campbell. That's where we're at now Okay, second one is how are you able to stay at home? Um, so I'm able to stay at home because we budget our money right so that I Can stay at home with Elodie if I was to go back to work um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, but I would have to change my licensed to Tennessee from Pennsylvania. Um, I would never want to go back full-time while Elodie was little. So me going back part-time, I would basically be paying somebody else to watch my kid. We would end up breaking even. So for me, I would rather just be home with Elodie and budget our money. So this one says, my husband is leaving for basic. Um, any tips? I have a three-year-old boy and a three-month-old little boy. So get ready for a crazy life. So whenever Zach joined, we didn't have any kids, but I feel like my piece of advice would still be the same. And it is to keep busy, find friends that um, will help you through that and be with them as much as possible, pick up a hobby, anything. I actually started YouTube when my husband um, went to basic and um, also write him every single day every day. That's like the best thing I can. That's my advice Okay, next one is when stationed away from family. How hard do you find it to socialize? So I Feel like when we f the first time we moved I found it really really hard and I was really Upset and I didn't have a child at the time So it was just me and I was pregnant and I feel like it was harder for me to make friends then but I have a really good friend that is Zach's um, friend from work's wife and she's like my best friend so I feel like even if you're not out meeting people in person text your friends from home like always keep that communication that really helps you from getting lonely and um, put yourself out there like join the FRG um, go to play groups on on base there's tons of opportunities for you to meet people. It's just hard at first to like put yourself out there. So the next one is, don't you feel like this is so hard on your kids moving all the time, no friends, changing schools, no stability, et cetera, et cetera. So first my, this is um, somebody else's question from their channel. My daughter's not in school. 
Um, I have friends. My daughter has friends. <laughs> um, stability. She has tons of stability. We're in her life all the time. Um, don't really know how to answer that question. I make sure that she's happy all the time. She's well cared for. We don't move every month, so I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. And she's not in school right now, so she's a happy child. Okay, next one. How do you do it all alone for such long periods of time when your husband is gone? So the last time that I was away from my husband, I was fortunate enough to be home with my family. So that was a lot easier. I had my friends, I had my family to help. So being home with my family was definitely... Um, kept me distracted, kept me going, and I had a lot of help with Elodie. Um, but for future reference, we're not going to go home, so um, I don't know how to answer that because I've never been away from him other than being with my family. So when we go through the next one and I'm here without him, then I can answer that question better. Um, and that brings me to the next question. It says, if your spouse deploys, are you going to move back home or stay where you're at? So we are going to stay here, me and Elodie and the puppies, if he gets deployed. And um, we're probably gonna go home to visit for maybe like two weeks or something. My parents said that they would drive down and then we can, I'll take my car and one of the dogs. And my parents will take a dog and Elodie and we can drive home. I'll stay for a couple weeks and then they'll drive back with me to drop us off. Just so we can visit um, with some family. I don't wanna leave the house, I love it here, and I feel like whenever we go stay somewhere for a prolonged period of time, it gets Elodie out of her routine, and I just wanna keep her in her routine as long as possible, <laughs> because if you have a child or a toddler, when they're in their routine, they're much happier than when you take them out of their routine and then you try to go back to it. It's a whole ordeal. So the answer to that question is we are not going to go live with my family. The next question is hilarious. <laughs> um, since your husband is in the military, it's an easy job and makes a lot of money, right? Are you guys rich? Um... Okay, it is so easy to do a Google search and you can see how much anybody, anybody in the military makes because nobody's special, it goes by rank, that's how much you make. Just do a Google search. We are definitely not rich. We make way less than we did when we were out of the, when, when he wasn't in the military. So, and it's an easy job, it's not. That's insulting, but next question. So does the military pay for everything? No, they don't pay for everything. You, If you have bills, you pay your own bills. They give you an allowance. Again, you can Google this all. They give you a, an allowance to for housing and then you get a base pay, which both combined is still less than we ever made outside of the military. So next question on a lighter note. <laughs> What is your go-to Subway order? Okay, so I am not really a Subway girl. I'm more of a Jimmy John's kind of girl, but if I go to Subway, I'm super basic and I get a, I don't even, it's not on the menu. It's just pepperoni and extra cheese, American, on Italian herbs and cheese. That's it, not toasted. And then I get pickles on the side. <laughs> I it's it's kind of stupid, but literally that's been like my go-to Subway sandwich since I was a little girl. I used to get when they used to have like the little buns, the kids meals. That's what I used to get a kids meal. But now I just get the adult version on a foot long. <laughs> okay, next one is where do you shop for your kids? So. Whenever we lived in Pennsylvania, Old Navy was like my go-to for Elodie, but our Old Navy down here isn't as good. So I've really been shopping at Once Upon a Child for her. I love it so much. And Target, those are my top two. Favorite part of every place you've lived? Okay, so I kind of already answered that. 
but I feel like I love Fort Campbell right like where we are now because Elodie was born here so I feel like it'll forever be so special just because she was born here I don't know and our town was voted um best place to live in America so there's that how did you choose your kids names so I only have one kid but her name um her name was originally going to be Ella um that is Zach's great grandmother's name and then it took us a little bit of time to get pregnant at that point when we were pregnant the name Ella had like blown up and like everybody in their mom's name was Ella so <laughs> so I went on Pinterest and I searched names that were kind of like Ella and I came across Elodie and it's actually really popular in France so there's that but I don't know I've only like came across one other girl whose name is Elodie and so it's not very popular but I love it so much just think it's so cute okay next one is your favorite thing to cook so I'm more of a baker and I love to bake. I love to bake cakes and I love to decorate them and I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so next one is, what is your favorite meal? Tacos, anything tacos, tacos. I love shrimp tacos. Those are like, oh, my favorite. Does being a stay-at-home mom get lonely? Yes, kind of, yeah. It just depends on the day, I guess. Um, I have Elodie here to keep me company, so it's not really lonely, but sometimes it's like I'm talking to a one and a half year old, so my brain is kind of like, well, but especially because she doesn't talk yet, so I feel like I just talk to her and she just talks back in her own language. And But it does get lonely, for sure. Um, I do miss like the adult interaction of having a job, and I feel like a lot of people like don't understand like even if you don't like your coworkers and you don't like your job that interaction with other humans that aren't two years old is so essential in life like I don't know it's totally I unless you stay at home after working you would have you wouldn't understand um but yeah it gets lonely <laughs> How has your relationship with your husband changed since having kids? So it's definitely changed a lot. I feel like we have to put so much more effort into our relationship than we ever had to before. And basically that's because after a long day of Zach being at work, he's tired and he, if we want to like talk or we want to um, do married things. <laughs> I'm tired because I was with Elodie all day and then there's the obstacle of spending alone time because then there is Elodie and we have to spend time with her but we need to spend time with ourselves and it's a lot harder for like time management and making sure you take that time out of your day to see how your spouse is doing and to take that alone time. It's just prioritizing your priorities <laughs> and um just making time for each other. What's something that most people don't know about you? Okay, so most of my friends know this, but if you don't, if you're not like my close friend, you wouldn't know that I'm like obsessed with teeth. I've always like wanted to be a dentist or a dental hygienist. Like I love anything that has to do with teeth. I've never had a cavity. I'm very proud of my, my chompers. Um, I just love mouths and teeth and oh I love it next one is what is your favorite and least favorite thing about being a military spouse so my favorite thing is that we get to travel and see new places that we would have never been before like I we would have never picked to live here but I love it um and my least favorite would be um, having to be away from Zach, that's definitely the hardest, especially after you have kids and your kids have to be away. 100% the distance um, for long periods of time is the hardest. Next one is your go-to Starbucks order. So again, super basic. I just get a grande 
iced black coffee with no classic. I love black coffee and Starbucks has the best black coffee ever. Don't at me. It's the best. Okay. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube? So I started, I think, two and a half years ago, but I haven't really been consistent. So like when I started, I was like consistent for like two months and then I fell off for like half a year. And then when I was pregnant, I barely did it. But um, more recently, I've started to try to stay more consistent because I do love, love being on YouTube. Next one is your number one tip advice to starting your own YouTube channel. Just start it. Um, I wanted to start a YouTube channel for probably five years before I actually started it and I wish I would have just started when I wanted to and you don't need fancy equipment to start literally there are people that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers that started with their phone and using iMovie on their phone to edit there are, you don't need a lot of things sit in front of a window open the blinds up, get that natural light in, sit your phone on a stack of books and just record it and upload it. I feel like that first video that you put up is like the hardest, but once you get that first one up and you get all that feedback and you find all these amazing friends and you see all of your family supporting you and your friends, it totally like makes it worth it and then you're like you just want to keep posting I feel like that's the hardest part is literally just posting your first video so if you want to do it just, just go for it seriously just post it next one is what would you be doing if your husband wasn't in the military I would be doing exactly what I'm doing now we always discussed that I would stay home with Elodie when we had babies so we had baby and I'm staying home so I would be doing the same thing. Last question. How many kids do you and your spouse want? So growing up, I always wanted five kids because I was an only child. So I always wanted my kids to have lots of brothers and sisters. Um, then I switched to four and my husband wanted two. So when we like got married, we compromised on three. But now I don't even know how many kids I want. I... Um, I'm so content with just Elodie. Like, I feel like our family is full. I don't feel like it's missing anything with just Elodie. Um, but I have always wanted her to have a sibling just because I didn't have a, that bond because I didn't have a sibling. So I feel like I don't know if we're going to have any more kids. But if we do, probably just one more. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you are new, if you're coming over from one of the other girls channels and you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of the family and make sure if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I just want to hold you.